I've got two different pictures of balloons. I've got this one, which is taken on the inside of the balloon as it is being inflated. And if I come up to the tab, there are three balloons here floating in a clear blue sky. I've also got an idea, and that is to put this image onto this image here. We're gonna add some text to the picture. We're then gonna clip our three balloons to the text so we can see this image as a background. Sounds complicated, but trust me, it is really easy to do. Right, the first thing we need to do is to fly our three balloons from here to our balloons inside shot. Now to do that, there's several different ways we can do it. We could come up to select, we could come down to all, command A, control A is the shortcut. You'll notice the selection now going right the way around the image. If you come up to edit, we can come down to copy, we have now copied this selection. In other words, we've copied this layer. If we come to our balloons inside, we just need to go to edit. We need to go down to paste. When I click on paste, there it is. You'll now see we've got layer one floating over our background layer here. If I just switch the visibility off by clicking on the eye icon, there it is. There's our two images together. I'm gonna to press delete and I'm gonna click yes because there is another method which I want to show you. If you come down to the photo bin, there's our balloons, the inside. This is the layer we're on. If I click on this image here, so we've now got our three balloons, I'm gonna lift it up, I'm gonna fly it in here, just releasing it, in it goes, job done. Once again, you can see there it is, our three balloons floating on top of our balloons inside shot, switching the visibility on and off, job done. Right, next, I mentioned text. Now what I'd want to do is I want to put text so it's between these two layers. So I'm gonna click on the background layer. This is now the live layer. And I'm gonna switch the visibility of this off by clicking on the eye icon so we can just see the background layer. I'm gonna pick up the text or the type tool. Just want to make sure I've got the default colors here. So I'm gonna click on this icon here or press D on the keyboard. There's our default colors. Now that we've done that, never been happy, I want to put white as our foreground color. The reason for doing that is when you take a look, you can now see there's the color we've set it to white. I'm gonna click down, I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna call it what it is, which is balloons. Now that I've done that, if we just come over to the layers panel, you can see there's our text, our type layer. It's gone in as I want to do directly above our balloons, the background layer there, and it is called layer one. It is layer one because it's yet to be committed. Now, if you click on the green tick here, this is going to commit this text layer. Clicking on it, we've got the text, the type layer, and it says the word there, balloons as well. Right, I've got the move tool, which means I can move this text I'll type around anywhere on this layer. If I double click, watch what happens down here for the tool option. It's gonna change from the move tool to the text, the type tool. I want to change the font on this. Now you could come to the list here, you could scroll through the list. That's a pretty good way of doing it. You can also swipe across, so this is now highlighted. You can use the up and the down arrow to scroll through until you find a font that you like. But I know with this particular one that I want to use the font which is called Impact. So all I need to do is type in the first letter of that uh, font, which is Impact, there it is. You can now use the up and the down arrow to scroll through all the rest of them beginning with I, but I'm gonna go back up to Impact. Now that I've done that, you can see the way the font's changed. But the size of the font, I can only make it bigger. It is off the recording area, but I can go to 72, which is not that much bigger, is it? Right, now to get over that, all I need to do is press down Command or Control. Look at this, pressing Command or Control, we've now got grab handles to each of the corners, the top, the bottom, as well as the two sides. I'm gonna to come to any one of the corners, I'm gonna click down, I'm gonna drag it out like this, I'm still holding down Command or Control, I'm gonna pull it out like that, we're gonna lift it up, I'm gonna to come to the top one there, making sure I didn't get that curved. Yeah, you can make it a bit, uh, yeah, what's the word? Um, What's it called? I've got italic looking. That's the word I was trying to think of, but struggling. And just pull it down into that area as well, making it much bigger. That looks pretty good. In fact, I'm gonna press Command or Control again. Just make it a wee bit wider. Clicking on the green tick to commit it. Right, let's fold this up out of the way. Now for a little bit of magic. We're going to switch the three balloons layer on by clicking on the eye icon. There it is. 
we can no longer see our text, we can no longer see our balloons, the inside shot. However, if you bring your cursor between the layers, now press down the Alt or the Option key, look at the way your cursor changes, looks a bit like a paper clip. Now if you click between the two layers, we have now clipped our balloons, our three balloons, to our text. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now this is our live layer, our text layer. So when I click on this, we can move our text around. If I click on our three balloons, we can now move them around so I can float these anywhere inside the text. I'm going to be a little bit careful. There's the uh, the edge of the image there. So I'm going to move it across into that direction would be pretty good. I'd like to make this text just a little bit bigger again. So I'm going to click on our balloons layer. This time I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to go to free transform. So we're now going to use the transform tool on this text. I'm going to just pull it out, making it a bit wider still. I'm going to come to the yeah, top corner here would be pretty good. You can see the way I've got the bent arrows. I'm just going to swing it round into that position. That would be brilliant. Double clicking inside the frame or click on the green tick. There it is. Job done. Now we've seen the way that we can move the text around by clicking down with the move tool, moving that. We can come to the three balloons. We can move this around by doing that. But how about if we want to move the two together? Well, this is now our live layer. I'm going to press down command or control with the command or control. Keep pressed and held down. I'm now going to click on our type, our text layer. Both are highlighted. Once you've done that, we can now move this around into position. I'm going to put it into something like that there would be pretty good. Right, clicking on our type or our text layer, because my next idea is to come down to the little FX icon. With the FX icon, we're going to go to Styles, and from Styles, the drop down list there, I'm going to go to Drop Shadow. Now this is where we can apply any one of these drop shadows. Click on it, you can see the way that's looking, the way this one here. This is my favorite starting position, the high drop shadow, but we can still adjust it. Let's go back over to layers. You'll notice this little FX icon here showing. This indicates this has got a layer style. Nice little prompt there, which is just off the recording area. There it is. That's open our style settings on our drop shadow. If you move your cursor out, you'll notice it is now the move tool. We can move the drop shadow around. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up roughly with the image there. Looks pretty good like that. So there it is, there's Alfred Hitchcock making a little bit of an appearance with the yeah, the guide rope there holding our balloons. I tell you what, let's come down to bevel as well and let's give a little bit of a bevel to our text. Something like that looks pretty good. I'm going to click on OK. Job done. Don't forget, this is completely adjustable. You can click on that, you can bring it back, you can make any changes. Right, something else. Let's click on the top layer of the layer stack, our three balloons. I'm now going to come up to this icon here, which is for a create new or adjustment layer. It's the adjustment layer I'm after. We're going to go to levels. Now when levels opens, um, at the moment, if I move it this way, you can see the way it darkens it down. It's the entire picture, not what I want. I want to clip it so it's on this layer only, just on our three balloons. We can do that by coming down to this icon here. This is going to clip it as it's saying there. There it is. It's now moved it across. So now it is working purely on our three balloons layer. Just going to darken that down slightly into that area there. Looks pretty good. Switching it on and off. You can see the difference that's making. Right. Next, let's click back on this. This time I'm going to come down to hue saturation and I want it to affect everything here. It's going to, so it's going to come through our three balloons layer going to go through onto our background layer here. And if I just move this back and forth, and yes, that's working on the entire image. Let's take up the saturation into that position there. It looks pretty good. Let's close that. There it is. Job done. Just the sort of thing I was looking for. Uh, I would like to just rotate it a little bit more. So I'm going to bring my cursor down, just making sure these two here, so it's on the balloons layer. Now click in so it's on this here as well using command T, control T for that transform tool. Let's swing it round a little bit. And let's just move it into that area there. Great stuff. That will do nicely. Everything with this is completely adjustable. 
save it in layers so if we come up to file we're going to come down to save as and we're going to call it balloons inside no i'm not going to call it that so i'm just going to rename this to uh, balloons 3 that's better right making sure you got the photoshop file there so make sure you got photoshop you've also got layers yeah i struggle with the name because i've already got one there right clicking on save and there it is job done as i said everything is completely adjustable you'll notice as well the way the the name appears has changed from balloons inside to balloons 3 psd it's a photoshop file it is saved in layers this is the sort of thing we started off with and we've now clipped it all to the text We've added a nice little bit of uh, adjustment here as well. You can see the way that's working. Incidentally, if you want to adjust it, click on it. You can maybe just reduce down the opacity very slightly, but go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.